Okay, guys, back again with this uh, Leica MCP80 setup in this case, a 850 dozer. So we talked about in the last one, we talked about the views and um, different views you can get into. So on this video, I'd like to discuss a little bit of the tools. What can we use for tools and go into some of the features that you can go through here, okay? So in previous, um, in previous videos, we talked about how to actually go in and open up a... Um, open up your models or your uh, GPS files and this is just another roundabout way of going in there so configure models we can touch that and so at this point um, you can see a few different things here you can see what your vertical offset is you can also see um, what your perpendicular offset is so if we had a horizontal offset we could see that as well and then um, on the top here, it's going to say CPI, uh, Crown, Pond, Pad, Pile, Road. This is our entire site with the, with the road. This is what we talked about a few videos ago. And uh, dot .TRM, that's a terrain model. So whenever we're going through these, that's the terrain model is what you're generally going to want for most of your grading applications. And on this um, next screen here, all that's showing is just your um, there various things you can change. You can change um, how the thing fits you, your light ambience. You can change that, adjust it to the brightness that you would like. So as we go back out of here, let's say we wanted to adjust our vertical offset. Um, we can hit that, and we're just going to, let's say we just want a zero offset. You don't have to enter, enter anything in if you want a zero offset. If you want to be right at finish grade, um, just cancel everything out there and hit the enter button and there you go you have a zero offset so now right right now what it's telling us is we're going to have our grade at finish grade is the elevations it's going to give you so as you see there um, that changed our cuts quite a bit because we were originally at like a 1.6 or so uh, below finish grade uh, for our offset and now we're looking at it here okay now we're only um, 0.6, um, 0.62 foot on the left side, 0.45 on the right. So we're a lot closer now. Go back into tools, um, store point options. That's something. Let's say, um, let's say you had to. There was a stake somewhere, and you had to move it, or you had to bury a pipe that you wanted to be able to come back to at a later date and be able to find the end of that pipe. So uh, rainstorm coming, you had to bury your pipe. Um, so obviously you do as you normally do, leave your markers in the ground, but this is a pretty pretty good setup to actually give you a really good point. Okay, this is where we left off. That's where the end of the pipe is. Dig here. So we could make that or um, whatever points you needed to save, um, you could do that. Like I said, if it was a uh, stake out and you wanted to save that a little bit, um, you would be able to... Um, basically type in what the point name you want it to be, um, just whatever you want it to be, let's say AA, um, and enter, and so I'm going to hit uh, measure. You actually might have to, I think you actually have to select, um, so there with your coordinate file you have to actually select the file right there you want to save it in as well so and then down here when that light turns green as it is now with the measure now you can actually hit measure and it's going to save that point right there where you were just at see how that saved that point uh, down here that's where we were so um, and you see how those are moving around a little bit. That's just that uh, GPS error that's built into the system. Just a slight error that's always going to be there. All right, so we're going to go back out of this. Um, we'll flip over here. And you can have an auto logging option as well. Let's say we were uh, driving across an area doing a little bit of grading. And we wanted to auto log for uh, an as-built program. Or um, we just wanted to record those, those points for whatever reason it was. Um, you can actually go through here and actually um, set that up. So measure by, um, you could do measure by distance or measure by time. Either one of those, that's going to, when you hit one of those, it's going to, you can set the distance. So let's say if we do distance. Um, so every, right there on this side, it's going to measure, it's going to make a point every 0.66 feet. Um, or if we would go in here and enter time, 
we can make it every second, we can make it every three seconds, whatever it is. And so, um, and then down here on the bottom, you can highlight these points, whether you want to actually show the points in plan view uh, or record in auto. Um, this machine doesn't have auto function as on it, so that's not something we're gonna worry about with this one. Let's go back out of here. Um, and down here you can see where this uh, record function is now. So since we were in there, and I'm actually going to go back into tools because I don't want that active actually at this moment. So we're going to go in here, and we're going actually going to X out of that. So let's. So you see now uh, we click below that the coordinate file is no longer there. We're going to delete this point name as well. So um, hit backspace and enter. Okay, so now we no longer should have, okay, it's still there, but we'll work on that later. Okay. Um, monitor screen. Basically, what you have here is you're going to have all of your, um, all of your information. So, what do we have here? We have our latitude, longitude, um, antenna, northing, easting, and height, meaning elevation. So if you were looking for the exact elevation of where you are, um, first you have your latitude and longitude, and then you, that's also going to relay into your uh, northing and easting, and then your height. So um, GPS solution, if that says autonomous or anything other than fixed, your GPS is not going to work at the time. So this is if it's if it's showing any kind of um, warning message that it's not working. Um, that's something you want to look at right here, going into the monitor screen, and then right there. So see that it's fixed. So as we look over here on this side, uh, what we're having is we have our mast, uh, northing, easting, height, and um, your left side of your blade and um, your center of your blade and then your right side of your blade this being your cutting edge down there so on this side over here you have your antenna height on that side you're going to have your um, the mast and then the left side of your blade and center and um, right side so as we look at this um, this is just some of the reference stuff that um, they put in for uh, various setup things so we can check some of these things though um, Shows model cross slope. We're at 2.4% um, is what it's telling us we should be. The sensor is telling us that we're 4.5. Um, blade direction, it's at zero. Long slope. Um, all this stuff you can kind of take a look at. And this is something you're just going to have to play with a little bit to really get a good feel for. Um, and then, like I said, it just um, kind of goes through and tells you, okay, what's the localization? This is telling you um, what what uh, terrain model do we have in here on the bottom there um, over on this side uh, the network it's we're not on a network we're not actually hooked uh, to a uh, cellular tower or anything like that so um, we're not gonna it's not gonna show a network for us and the sky plot so we take a look at this this is gonna show you okay so we um, where's all of our antennas um, or sorry our satellites and then what satellites are we actually using? So as we take a look at this, we see on the left side, you see GPS, you see the GLONASS, you see the Badu and the Galileo um, setup. Um, obviously, when we look at that, there's no, none of the Galileos that are um, either, they're either not active or we don't have access to them. So, but what we do have access to, we have access to the, um, the GPS, the GLONASS, um, GPS being the United States satellites, uh, GLONASS being, um, GLONASS is going to be the Russian satellites and Badu is going to be um, European ones. So take a look here and it's actually going to tell you which satellites are we using, what's the sky plot according to where we're at with our machine um, here in the center and then our northing um, show or north arrow showing right there, um, right here as well. So when you look through here, it's just a way that you can see, okay, where are we pull on our satellites from and how many satellites do we actually have? So on this side over here, we're showing 15 satellites, um, fixed position, like we talked earlier. Uh, that's what you want to be. So that's, um, and then we're just right back to the, the first screen there. 
So we go back into tools again, and we'll go through some more of this stuff. So we hit guideline, um, guidelines. Basically right now we don't have a guideline set up. Um, so we don't actually have um, a horizontal offset set up because we don't have a guideline set up. So we can try and see if this system will actually allow us to do it. No, it's not going to. So down here on the bottom, you can click. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to collect pick from graphics. It's going to allow us to pick that. And so now let's touch here on the guideline. And no, it's still not going to let us do it. Let's see. Pick polyline. Um, and it's not going to give us anything here. Um, let's see. It's way, zoomed way out at this point. So let's, we're going to zoom in. And nope, there's, it's, um, there's nothing on this file to let us do, use that line. So horizontal offset, what that would be is basically, let's say we want it to, let's say we want it to, let's say this was a roadway right here where this, line is right here this red line right there let's say that was a the edge of a curb and you want it to make sure that you are right on target with that curb line that's where i showed you earlier with that horizontal offset you can actually highlight that line and it'll keep that as your alignment and set it so that the left side of your blade the left side or the right side would actually be right on that line or you can offset that horizontal offset um to be a couple feet past that so you're actually grading a few feet beyond that curb line so that way that way whenever they go to grade curb they have room to um, the curb crew has room to actually get their curb machine in there and and do what they need to do so let's go back into tools here um, hold slope options that's not going to be something that we're going to be able to probably access right now as well um, but yeah, see no center line uh, selected in reference settings. So um, vertical offset though, vertical offset that's going to pop up right here. Okay, so currently we we reset the vertical offset. So there's two ways you can do this vertical offset. We showed you there a minute ago. Um, go into tools, configure models. Um, vertical offset's going to be right there. You can change it there or um, or if you don't have to change it very much, um, you can actually hit tools, vertical offset, and now you can change it here. And so you can, let's say we want it to be under. So, okay, so this one is going to move it um, 100th each time you touch this one, this button. Um, that's going to move it a tenth. So as we're doing this, we say, okay, so I want to be, um, let's say I want it to be, uh, six inches under design so right there so that's going to give us our six inches under our plan design and that would say let's say we had to put six inches of topsoil on to be finished grade that's how we're going to get that vertical offset to drop us down so that we're still grading everything we're still putting everything on grade as it should be but you're also able to still um, you're also able to still set it that you're under um, and you have room for your topsoil or stone or whatever it may be to go down. So we're going to leave that as a, as a um, six inch um, vertical offset as well. So like I said, we talked about this um, hold slope. That's not going to be something we're going to work at right now. And uh, I'll make another video here uh, shortly and we'll go over a couple other things.